uh, tell the good people right now, how long have you been in law enforcement? I've been in law enforcement. I, I, was, a, I was with the Kentucky State Police for over 40 years. Uh, I've retired, of course. And uh, 35 of those years were spent as a detective in investigation. Um, I went in as Sheriff, Whitley County Sheriff, on January the 2nd, 2011, which puts me in my 43rd year of law enforcement. Wonderful. 43 years. And I'm very sure throughout those years, you've helped countless people. Uh, you've stopped countless crimes that was uh, and activities that was going on. And we really are thankful for that. Well, thank you. Um, I enjoy the job, obviously, or I, or I wouldn't stay in it. Mm -hmm. um, helping people uh, is, is a big thing to me. Mm -hmm. I, I want to help people. I want to give back to the community and uh, want, want this thing done right. When I went in an office, there wasn't very little of a sheriff's department. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether you know the history of it or not, but uh, there was very little there, very mm -hmm. little money to work with. Um, the, uh, the magistrates in Whitley County helped a lot, uh, and the private sector helped a lot. Mm -hmm. um, Right now, we're, we're coming along real good. Um, uh, like I said, when I first went in, we didn't even have uh, flashlights, guns, mm. just the basic the basic stuff. Um, it, it just amazes me how an individual mm -mm. can do this right. without somebody saying, hey, you're wrong. Mm -hmm. And thank goodness the, the federal government stepped in and done something. That is exactly right. And let's talk now about road rage, erratic driving, uh, just not wearing your seat belts. You know, the roads right now are just crazy with crazy drivers doing illegal U-turns in the middle of the highway, passing in and out of traffic, you know, and you want to put a stop to this as well. Yes, sir, we do. Um, thing to keep in mind on, on road rage is just keep yourself a level above the individual that cut you off. Mm-hmm. Um, give you some nasty gesture. <laughs> yeah. Um, stay a level above this. You you know you you don't have to seek revenge right mm -hmm. there on the road. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. It's the worst thing you can do. Um, or or um, when you see them pull off, they've cut you off. You see them pull them, see them pull off. Follow them down. Mm -hmm. This this is very very dangerous. This individual may have a weapon. He may have a gun mm -hmm. they have a knife um, it, it, it's not worth it to seek revenge for a traffic violation mm -hmm. just let them call 911 and stay away from them and we also see a lot of young erratic drivers on the road nowadays you know speeding cutting people off and, and things like that um, those are signs we need to watch out for if we see that kind of activity going on we need to call the sheriff's department we need to dial 911. 911. Give the direction of travel of the vehicle, license number if you have it, occupants, and what they are doing. And uh, also, let's touch on seat belts and car seats. A lot of people, you know, you know, don't properly put their children in a car seat. They got them riding up on their lap or whatever, mm -hmm. and that's a no-no. You don't do that. That's correct, Jonathan. You, you're, you're not supposed to do this. Not only is it a violation of law, it's just unsafe. Mm -hmm. You know, you might hit that one time you have this accident and that, that child is gone. Mm. And you are responsible for this child. You are the one that needs to make him put his seatbelt on. He needs to make it a habit. Mm -hmm. I don't know how, how old a child you're talking about, but it's up to the adults to protect the children, and this is one way we protect them. And, uh, of course, seat belts for the adults. Uh, a lot of people still will not fasten that belt. That's right. They, they claim, well, I'm just going down the, to the local market to get a gallon of milk. Well, this is where most of the accidents happen mm -hmm. within just a few miles of home. Um, mm -hmm. No, no. It just takes seconds to buckle it up. Buckle it up. Exactly, and I'm, I'm sure throughout the years you have seen so many tragic wrecks, fatalities uh, that could have been avoided. 
Yes, sir. That's correct. I have seen many of them that could have been avoided. Um, <coughs> most all of them could have been avoided. Mm -hmm. This is why they call them accidents. Right. Um, but to make these accidents worse uh, are not buckling up. Mm -hmm. And what about drunk drivers or under the influence of medication? You know, it's the same deal. Like if somebody's impaired out driving on prescription medication, it's the same as being drunk. It doesn't make any difference how you got there. Mm -hmm. uh, if you got there on aftershave, <laughs> right. you're, you're still intoxicated. Exactly. Uh, you still, your reaction's way down. Mm-hmm. And you're apt to do things um, that you wouldn't ordinarily do. Mm. Um, but these people that you see them, again, you know, call the 911 system right. and tell them where you're at. Like I say, get a license number if you can, direction of travel. Mm -hmm. And this aids in the apprehension of these individuals that abuse uh, our roadways. Mm 